The armistice was declared in World War I on November 11, 1918. And KU then, the chancellor and all the faculty and students wondered how to memorialize all those that had died from KU that had gone to the war and didn't come home. What they decided to do was start in 1920 a million dollar pledge drive. And a million dollars was a, a lot of money in 1920, a lot of money. At that time, uh, the football team played on McCook Field, and they were playing, getting ready to play homecoming that fall, 1920. And Nebraska was ranked one of the best in the nation, and KU wasn't ranked at all. And they figured KU was a big underdog. And believe it or not, KU beat Nebraska. And it was, everybody was so excited, the chancellor declared the following Monday, Stadium Day. And he told the students to go down, the faculty to go down and tear out the old wooden bleachers and get rid of them. And the final pledges came in for the million dollar fund drive at 850000 But the stadium was designed and built uh, as it is now, except just the two original east and west sides. And they only went up about 40 rows. And it was dedicated as a memorial to World War I in 1922.